to be a rock star. I really did. When I was like nine years old, I wanted to be a partridge. <laughs> I was very serious, so I used to practice every night in my bedroom. I really did. I was like, this morning I woke up with the feeling Chris, I didn't know how to deal with. And so I just decided to myself, Danny, I'd hide it to myself. Tracy, never talk about it. And did it go and shout it. Redhead Rebel Weeble couldn't play a tambourine. Remember that show? A tambourine has no notes, ladies and gentlemen. Couldn't they have found a more qualified, ugly, mutant child to play Tracy? I think they could have. And this is reality, too. A rock band on tour with their parents. Remember the show? Danny got Ruben to sell our song. But it really came together when Mom sang along. Yeah, I think rock stars today should take their parents on tour, don't you? Oh, yeah, that would work out nicely. Guns and Roses, maybe? Oh, yeah, I could see that. Take me down to the Paradise City when the past is free and the girls are free. Take it down! Thank you, Axel. Save some of that crack for your mother, sweetheart. Axel Rose, just say no, ladies and gentlemen. Just say no. Tina Turner's my favorite rock star. I love Tina Turner. I do. But let's face it, when Tina became re-famous with her private dancer album, she started speaking with a foreign accent for no apparent reason. All right, she's an American citizen. She's from Tennessee. She gets her Grammy Award. All of a sudden, she's from the British West Indies. Really, she's at the award ceremony going, I love to thank everyone for making my album Private Dancer. That's a such a twelve. Thank you for coming, for voting for me, for standing. Good night. <laughs> and then she and her hair leave the stage. <laughs> if I ever get an award, I'm going to do that just to annoy people. I really am. I'm going to be like, thank everyone for making it possible, really. I'm going to make it slushy, Thank you so very much for the trophy, and good night. <laughs> and all over the country, people are going to be going, isn't Rosie from New York? <laughs> Ain't she that girl on Star Search? <laughs> I was on Star Search in 1984. I lost $100,000. <laughs> I did become really good friends with Ed McMahon, though. No, I'm not kidding. About two weeks ago, he sent me a letter. He said, Deal, Rosie, you may have already won $10 million in the American Family Sweepstake. You know, that's the kind of guy he is. And on that show business note, we're going to bring up our next act, a very talented woman, a friend of mine. Works all over the country, ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Henriette Mantel.